Islamic advocacy group Muslim Right Consign, Warwick, has condemned threats by some traditional worshippers in Oshun State to march on Iwo Tan in Oshun State over what they described as Olu Owo of Iwo Land, Oba Adu Rahid, Akimbe's disrespect for traditional religion. The traditional group gave the monarch a 21-day ultimatum to publicly apologize for his statements against the group. The traditional religion, adherents, also threatening to invade the town and move for this deposition of the monarch from the ancestral throne if their demands are not adequately met. But an Islamic organization, Murik, has said such threat could have huge effect on the peace of the state, especially during a period when issues of security challenges are encountered across the country. Murik further explained that Oba Adurahid Akimbe has the right to have opinions, noting that those threats by the traditional religion adherents would only be intercepted or interpreted as an immediate attempt to disrespect and breach intent laws. The Islamic group also advised the enriched group of persons to seek redress at the court of law over the declarations of the monarch, which they might have found distasteful or defamatory, defamatory, I beg your pardon. He said this would contain violence rather than embarking on an open confrontation which might result in a display of force. Meanwhile, Muruk's director, Professor Akintola, in a statement obtained on Monday, called on the government and operatives of the Oshun State Police Command to take further measures regarding the threats issued by the traditional worshippers, urging that the police should be proactive in handling the matter. The statement reads, the Traditional Worshippers Association of Oshun State has threatened to march on Iwo Tan in Oshun State for what they described as the Ulu Owo's disrespect for traditional religion. The traditionalists gave a 21-day or Timanton within which the Ulu Owo must publicly apologize for his unguarded statement against the traditionalists or face the consequences. The group threatening to demand the deposition of the Oluowo unless the king met their demand. We would like to caution the traditionalists against carrying out their threat because the implications of invading a whole city at a time when Nigeria is facing dire security challenges. Such invasion will be done tamont to open confrontation and invitation to chaos and disregarded for the rule of law. In the first place, indigents of the city are likely to come out in defense of their king. This may result in a bloody clash whose consequences cannot be foreseen at the moment. Secondly, such invasion shows disregarded for the rule of law because there is freedom of speech and anyone finds Oluwo's declarations distasteful or defamatory or a show of force. Thirdly, invading a world town may not go down well with Muslims in Oshun State in particular and the Yoruba land in general because Iwo is traditionally known as the Afa, meaning the city of Islamic scholars. The planned invasion by traditionalists may therefore be seen as an attack on the base of Islamic or Islam in Yoruba land. We note with deep concern that the traditionalists in Yoruba land prefer to monopolize Muslim tradition, traditional rulers in such a way that the latter pay no attention to Islam 
and Muslims, but concentrate on traditional rights alone. However, we note with satisfaction that the Oluwo of Iwo, Oba, Adurahid, Akimbe, stands out among Muslim rulers in Oshun State, who manifest consciousness of his faith. He has taken giant steps to revive Presidents Islamic in Iwo land. He has also openly identified with Islam as his religion. We therefore have every reason to believe that this is the real reason for the planned invention of Iwo Tan by traditionalists. We see no reason why traditionalists should pick offense if the Oluwo identify himself with Islam because it is not disallowed traditionalists from worshipping their gods. The 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Section 38, 1 and 2, grants every Nigerian citizen the right to worship as well as the right to manifest its religion freely. The Oluwo is also covered by this constitutional provision and he must be allowed to worship and manifest according to his conscience. Traditionalists have no right to insist that a king must be a traditional worshipper. The king is the ruler over all subjects in the town, and this includes Christians, Muslims, and traditionalists. The attempt to restrict the king to traditional worshipping alone and to attack the Oluo because he is a Muslim is an exhibition of religious intolerance. Murik appeals to the Oshun State Police Command to take the, the threats issued by the traditionalists very seriously. No group, no matter how powerful, has a right to threaten the peace of the land. The police must be proactive in handling this matter so that the diabolical plan of the traditionalists can be nipped in the board. We alert the government of the state of Oshun to the hidden black May in the threat to invade the Iwo town unless the government calls Oluo war to order. The government must not allow itself to be reroded into taking any action capable of provoking the teeming majority Muslim population of the state. Hazardites cannot determine what the people of Iwo want. The good people of Iwo want Oba Rahid Akimbe on the throne Muslims in the Yoruba land are pleased with him. Traditionalists have no right to demand his detriment. It is exhibition of intolerance on the part of the traditionalists to demand the, the position on Oba just because it does not dance to their tone. It will be set or it will set a dangerous precedent. If traditionalists are allowed to dictate to the government, the Oyetola administration must be firm. In addition, government has the duty to protect the law abiding and hard working people of Iwo Tan from the planned invention of traditionalists. The primary duty of government is to ensure the security of lives and properties. Section 14 2 B of the nineteen ninety nine constitution as amended. States enter Hale, the security and the welfare of the people should be primary purpose of government, and that pre purposes that it is referenced uh, referenced to government as both the federal and the state level. He has said the statement reads <laughs> Olu Owo is a traditional institution, not a religion. It seems this Morik is just looking for every avenue to create war among the Yorubas, like he's a Christian. But the Christians can call his royal majesty throne with Christian titles. Enough of blood share in the name of religion, mostly by Muslim groups. God is not author of confusion. Live and let live. So guys, what's your take? Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.